just shy of the 20. That's back-to-back -back plays of over 20 yards. They'll look to throw. It's complete to lock it. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. This game not quite as good as the last, but still over 40 yards between the two. And the Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts. That will leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. He's back to throw. He takes it across for the touchdown, and they've taken the lead late in the final minute of the fourth. Wow. Wow. Wow, I know it's a never-say-never never situation, but to me, that looks like that's the one that's going to finish them off. The score that puts them in front here late, but now you got to rally your kick team, don't you, and say the last thing we need is a big return. And what happens is guys get over-eager, get out of their lane because they're so excited they want to make the last tackle. <laughs> you mess up, could come back at you a long way. This is taken at his four. through another tackle. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. He'll look to throw. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. It was Trey Flowers that time who got a hand in and broke it up. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. Murray to throw. Now he'll escape to his left. And he can't corral it. That would have wrapped it up if he'd been able to hold on. Instead, it brings up third down. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. Back to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. And we will get a timeout with two ticks left. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Murray, one final try. Fighting through pressure. But now he's swallowed up and taken down. Well, Charles, a game and a decision that people may be talking about tomorrow for sure. Had a chance at a long field goal there at the end to try and tie it. They elect to not kick it, and they lose the game. And I think what we'd all love to see is that little slip of paper that the special teams coach handed to head coach. Brother, better you will never find. I've been in my bag like groceries. Competition shouldn't take shots, take notes, please. Reporting live from the winner's side. Ready, try, keep a different vibe. Is you down the ride, never tired. You will never know, you ain't never tried. Work it out, hit the gym, hit the field. Hit the wind. Hey, yo, I need that. Big chips, man, I need that. Hustle hard on the job, you can see that. On my head is real good, we don't need your feedback. They clear the way with my crew coming through. What I do? Lace up the shoes, chase the uh, rings. What I do? Lace up the shoes, chase the rings. Now what, what I do? Lace up the shoes, chase the rings. Yeah. 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 Beats, leave it in the street, in the case on the news. What I do? Lace up my shoes, chase W's. Great colored coops. Oh no, no, I can't be number two. MVP the league, most valuable. They sweet as apple juice. So Trophies I didn't grab on my sleeve, please. I move like the wind, can't catch this breeze, freeze. Stop you in your tracks, there's not no preseason. We seeking W's like Tupac used to throw up. Hey everybody, it's the coach. This is Madden Football 
on EA Sports. Up next, we've got what should be an intriguing matchup between the Cleveland Browns and the Jacksonville Jaguars. With that, let's get on up to Jacksonville. Danny by for the call. Much appreciated, Coach. Smack dab in the middle of I-295 that encircles the city of Jacksonville in Northeast Florida. There's a good look at TIAA Bank Field. Today, we're set for a good AFC matchup between the Cleveland Browns and the Jacksonville Jaguars. This will be taken short. And he'll take this across the 25. A couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. On the ground, this is Leonard Fournette. Four yards the result on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down. A very solid gain on that play. Now a run. This is Alfred Blue. Just a one-yard pickup there, and it's going to make it third down at six. This defense looking for an early stop. This is third down at six. Now falls off the play fake to Fournette. And this is going to be incomplete. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. It is one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. On is the punt team now as this one sent away. And he couldn't get it to check up. That kicks all the way to the end zone for a touchback. Mayfield going to lead the Browns up now, first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. They'll run it with Johnson. Fights forward for only about a yard up to the 21. Let's meet the offense, Greg Robinson. Very, very talented. What a man to set your offensive line with. Greg Robinson can do it all. Tremendous athleticism, great strength, just coming into his own. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. Chalk that up as a four-yard loss. And now it's third down. Mayfield looks to throw. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Josh Allen in there to get him for a loss of nine yards. And that also leads to fourth down. And no matter what the situation, the O-line just hates that because they feel like they didn't protect little brother back there, right? Man, that's just so difficult for them because just think about every single play. When you decide to throw the football, you're dealing with some of the best athletes on the planet. You're talking about guys, if they weren't playing football, they'd be starting in the NBA at power forward. It's a really difficult task. Here's Foles. That one complete to D.D. Westbrook. A gain of six there on first. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Fournette running right. Down right around the 25. A three-yard pickup on second and four. Now they'll need to convert here on third and a little more than a yard. It's a game of three. It's third and one. Here we go. Foles. He's got his tight end, O'Shaughnessy. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Now Foles. Now a hit, and Foles loses the football. It's out. On plays like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back. Because this is, this is the quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. They'll look to throw on third and goal. Got an open man, Keelan Cole. And he will reach the eight-yard line before going out. 11 yards, but still not enough. Fourth down. People worry about throwing the out route because often it can get jumped, and that can turn to an either an incompletion or an interception. But not on that one. Everything came together, and he catches it and goes over the sideline. 
That drive took him inside the 10. Good job defensively to hold him to three. Yeah, I like how you did that. Give a little tip of the cap to the stop troops there because they didn't give up a touchdown in that situation, right? Made them kick the field goal. And yeah, points went against them, but that feels like